<laughs> Twilight will be mandatory in schools. I do she think was I, maybe not Twilight, but definitely Harry Potter. Definitely Harry. Okay. Harry I think Potter's that, got a good writing style. Yeah, it's it's it, it's well written and it's also maybe required reading. I don't know. I do. You think so? I, I, think, I honestly I got, think that only books that entertain one. children but also have strong ideas behind them okay. are really good. I, I honestly only got through the fourth one and I just lost interest. Because you have no joy. I guess I don't know. I you have no joy. See what the fourth one came out. I was probably. When, do you know when it came out? The actual book. No. Um, I want to say, I want to say I was probably 11 or 12 years old. And after I read it, I was just like, I'm done with this. I don't know. <laughs> like I read them all pretty much right straight through. Straight through. Okay. So yeah. you just, so they, they'd more or less all been in circulation. Yeah. And you started reading. And then I okay. picked them up and I. Okay. They, they hadn't, I don't know if they'd all been written, but when I was reading them, but they hadn't been released in their entirety. Yeah. I, I think. I think I actually saw the fourth one came out. It's the only one I was really like cognizant of it coming mm -hmm. out that I wanted to read. But I read it. I was just like, eh. I tend to wait the wizard for series interest to is finish kind of like, before I read it. My, my, my interest in wizards is kind of like waning a little bit. Mm. I To me, I just found the story very... But it is good. It is a good story. Yeah, it, and it was also just sort of beyond entertaining, but I think that has a good message to it. You know, that... Yes, we have destinies that we're born to, to some extent, but ultimately it's our character that defines us and what we choose to do that defines us as opposed to what we're born to do. We're getting deep here on Smells Like 90s Rock. Yeah, so that's what I like to I and Stu I, in the fort, you better be entertained. I know, right, Stu? We're going highbrow <laughs> for a night. But, I mean, that's, that's kind of why I like the whole vampire genre now because it's like the vampires are fighting their their nature quote unquote and they're deciding to be something better and i think that's like for a broken Very person such as myself <laughs> uh, who has admitted defeat finally last week um it's a good idea to think that maybe ideas being yeah <laughs> conveyed through vampire novels maybe we can change what we're supposed to be if we pursue it long enough and hard enough and with passion um <laughs> it's a great fictional idea <laughs> okay <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> wow. And so yes, that that that's why I am uber uh, uber obsessed with uh, the vampires. Wait, but you you sort of condescended to the one, uh, the blade. Mm -hmm. so, like you're like Deacon Frost wears sunscreen in this. That was scene. ridiculous. No, but you I, cannot I defend that one. Want, no, because I because they have a conversation. Mm -hmm. They have he he goes into like some pretty deep stuff. Oh and no! You, and you completely forget of like oh, this is a vampire. This, a vampire wearing sunscreen telling See, you I didn't forget that. You didn't forget that? that really? What, that, that whole scene, all the whole time I was thinking, this is so silly. You couldn't really? Because when he started talking about it. where, about sort of their place in human existence. And, yeah, I couldn't. And, I couldn't. How, and how they fall, and how they like relate to humans. That the message couldn't reach me. I'm going to have to, it's on YouTube. I'm going to pull it up. <laughs> I'll try, but the whole time I'm just like, he's wearing sunscreen he's holding a small child hostage yeah in sunscreen you couldn't you couldn't get over that it just like couldn't just that try. He's so evil <laughs> while he's while he's while he's, he's a vampire sunscreen. wearing sunscreen he's holding a small child hostage. i mean all i can imagine him is dumping out that brand that has the baby's butt showing on it all <laughs> over his face <laughs> and i'm supposed to be like believing that this is preventing him from exploding into ash really <laughs> yeah okay I guess that's what fair. Is, what's the baby butt? What is it? Uh, copper tone. tone. Copper tone. Yes. There we go. More or less. Baby butt saving vampires. That's more or less the image we're trying to conjure to mind with this highbrow dialogue we're having right now. Yeah. Um, the baby butt. The baby butt sunscreen. The baby butt sunscreen. And then I really like, um, I love young adult novels. I like how currently a lot of them are taking on capitalism. <laughs> That seems to be like a trend too. Yeah, because they're just sort of like, dude, we're going too far down this lane. Like they're they're getting hold of our children, and they're showing them that we're going too far down the free market lane to where we are like one we're losing our souls. Yeah, like vampires. we're like one step away from the Hunger Games. <laughs> Wait, did, that's that's sort of been done before. Wasn't the original Dawn of the Dead was like more or less portraying like capitalism? Because I believe they so. all because yeah. they all go to like a shopping mall. It's supposed to show that like people even in death will go 
they're like going to the place they remember most and for Americans it's a shopping mall. So yes. It's supposed to be like a portrayal of like consumerism in like a really dystopic or really um what's the word? A really a very negative vision mm-hmm. of consumerism at the very least. Yes. 